try. Bernie, welcome back. It's been a yep. long time. It has, yeah. It's been, uh, what, about five months now since I've been uh, back at my desk. Uh, we got back Thursday last week at a, at a light training run and we went on camp uh, up to the snowy mountains and uh, first day back really this week um, behind the office, uh, behind the desk and uh, getting my head around the program again. Is there, I guess, um, a lot of excitement, fresh start, 2017, the boys pretty keen to get up and running? Uh, yeah, there was good motivation through the pre-Christmas period. I think uh, um, the boys were very motivated. There was a really tight-knit group um, leading into Christmas and we tried to um, build on that. I think uh, the Wallaby guys that came back in were very enthusiastic when they came back in. Um, and we started with a really good camp. Uh, I think we, we spoke about a lot of things that worked well through the pre-Christmas period and, and things that we want to achieve throughout the year. So at the moment, there's good energy, but um, there's a, a couple of tough weeks ahead for the boys. So we'll see how they go at the end of that. Obviously a pretty completely new look slope, but a lot of changes. I presents a lot of challenges, but is there a bit of excitement as well with the... Yeah, a fresh start with 2017. Yeah, I mean, it certainly feels that way at the moment. I think the playing group um, have been through a fair bit together. Um, the, the majority of the playing group have been through a fair bit together over the last sort of four years, um, and we've seen a significant change in the off-season with uh, a number of the senior players moving on. So it gives uh, these younger players um, an opportunity really to step up here now uh, and some some players who haven't been a part of the program to come in um, and prove themselves within this um, team. One of the big questions will be the captaincy. When do you think you'll make that decision? Uh, well, probably leading into that first game. So we've got a trial game against the Barbarians, we've got a trial game against the Waratahs, we've got the Juco 10s, and then the season kicks off. So um, we'll be careful with how many minutes the players play through the first two trial games. Um, and then same with the Juco 10, a different format there, so we'll be, we'll be pretty careful with uh, who gets game time and how much game time they get through those first three weeks. Uh, we might have a, a couple of interim captains through that period and then you know, leading into the first game we'll probably um, make a decision on who's going to be the captain. So we'll see you running out in the 10s. Uh, I think we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more next week. Uh, undecided, yeah. Uh, I haven't thought about that at this stage, so I think uh, you know, there's, there's been a fair bit of focus in the pre-Christmas uh, block on trying to get the fitness right and getting the skills up, and uh, I had a bit of a, a break through that period, um, but was really focused on trying to um, prepare the start of this season as well as I can, which is pretty much a focus every year. So for me, it's, um, it's uh, short steps, which is what we spoke about last year, making sure that we're not thinking too far ahead, so I'm certainly not thinking about after the season when we're just about to start it. You see um, similarities between 2017 and say 2011? Big, big turnover for the players, that was a real start of the new era. Yeah, similar. I mean, we had, we had 11 new players in uh, 2011 when Jake came in. Well, 2011-2012 when Jake came in. Um, we've had 13 new players coming to the program this year. So, yeah, very similar in, in that respect. I think it was a young team and, and uh, you know, we had a new captain come in for that period as well. We were undecided who the captain was going to be um, and a lot of young guys trying to prove themselves. So, yeah, there's a lot of similarities. I think um, we've, we've maintained uh, the bulk of the squad. Obviously, there's some senior players that have gone, but we've maintained the bulk of the squad and I think those guys have learnt lessons over the last four years, five years that they'll carry through to these younger guys coming through. You've, you've only been back, back a week, but are you sort of starting to see some, some, yeah. some combinations? Well, really only one day. Yeah. So um, yesterday was our first opportunity to train as a team, um, 15 on 15 out on the paddock. Uh, last week, like I said, we had the camp. We came in for a, a, a bit of a training run, just a, a bit of individual fitness on the Thursday. Then we went down to camp and we spoke a lot about what we want to achieve this year down at camp. Um, so yesterday was the first day and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's clearly a different team to last year, particularly without Christian. 
Um, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be massive. Um, we we sort of picked two teams yesterday, but they were jumbled up. And uh, I think what you notice with Kyle is that um, he's had a period of time off. He was over there with with us with the Wallabies, and then he had a period of time off through December. But uh, hit the ground running yesterday, and his skills were sharp. Um, he's fit. His knowledge is top notch, and uh, you can see that he's uh, he's ready to play Super Rugby in this team. You, were, you finished you finished twenty sixteen in pretty strong form, especially with the NRC and then heading overseas. Is this just a continuation on, or where do you, where do you see yourself? Oh no, I, as Bernie said, I'm just coming here to, for the opportunity um, to really try and be the best player I can be, and I think this program is definitely going to help me get there. I tried to hit the ground running yesterday and I'm going to continue to do so. I try to push myself and try to improve little by little each day. What are your expectations, are your expectations for the Brumbies, Kyle? My expectations are the same as what the team discussed at the camp. You know, we, um, we combine together, we see, see where the team wants to go and hopefully we're not looking too far ahead, but obviously there's, there's high expectation. You know, they're a great side, they've produced great results in the last couple of years, but haven't quite got there, so hopefully we can go that little bit further this year. Have you found working with Bernie in the early stages here? Yeah, no, obviously I haven't had much to do with Bernie in the Brumby setup, but in the Wallaby setup it was fantastic. Um, it was definitely a draw card for me to come to the Brumbies to learn off Bernie. You know, he's a, uh, he played in my position, he was one of the greatest during his time, if not the greatest during his time, and to learn off him is just unbelievable, and hopefully that's only going to improve my game. What was the appeal of Canberra? Um, yeah, this was a new challenge. I've been at the force for five or six years. Um, I was pretty comfortable there. Um, it was a new challenge, um, a great rugby program, so I just thought, you know, step out of my comfort zone and hopefully take it, take it with both arms on and just go for it. Bernie, obviously, not here next year, but you'll hopefully have a lot to do with him in the quality set up and the uh, that, that stuff will kind of work itself out, so the main focus for me at the moment is just trying to slot into a position in the Brumbies and work on my skills here and all that stuff will kind of sort itself out. Obviously it's probably not up to you, where would you like to be in the back line? Uh, uh, wherever they want to put me, I'm, I'm an inside back, uh, I love 12, I'm happy to play wherever the team needs me, but uh, my favourite position is number 12 and I enjoy playing there. I remember you had an impressive performance down here last year, do you like playing in Canada? Have you got the chance to travel over here? It's always, um, when I was at the force, I've always, it's always been tough games at um, the Canberra Stadium, um, it's cold. It's um, generally wet, and um, the, the Brumbies boys always put on a physical battle. So I've had some, some fond memories, but some very hard battles, yeah. So I'm looking forward to being on the other side and the receiving end.